by now you know exactly what this is. As I speak there are more than 46 million cases of COVID-19 recorded worldwide. More than million people have died. The summer relief that a lot of people thought were on the cards back in February. Well, that never happened. In fact, this summer saw steady increase of coronavirus cases globally. With daily cases reaching far above the ones we saw in the spring. But now winter is coming. What should we expect? Let's look at other viruses. The ones we often deal with, like influenza and the common cold, are seasonal, which means we expect them to peak at certain times of the year. It's not so much that these viruses are more suited to the winter cold, it's that the things we do at this time of the year helps them out. Think about it. In the winter, we gather in close quarters indoors, where there's often heating and no ventilation. Heat dries out the mucous membranes of our nasal passages, making it easier for virus to attach. And no ventilation means the virus sticks around for longer. We know that um, certain things that happen in the winter do make for um, better conditions for a virus to be transmitted, especially a respiratory virus that's largely transmitted directly from, from human to human. So if you have a, a stretched healthcare system, you can have a situation where, um, where you add, you know, you push it past the breaking point with yet another, another virus. In the winter, our environment is already running rampant with all these other viruses. In a non-pandemic year, they're enough to overload the healthcare system. Case in point, seasonal influenza can cause hundreds of thousands of hospitalizations at any given year. And with WHO already warning us about an increase in COVID deaths in October and November, this is not good news. At the start of the pandemic, many people said that the novel coronavirus is just like the flu. They do have similar initial symptoms and require similar supportive care, but they require different drug treatments. On top of that, one person can be infected by both the novel coronavirus and influenza at the same time. That's called co-infection. So what can we do? Well, isolation is key. If you get flu and you don't have COVID, stay home anyway. If you get just a sniffle or a cold, you should get tested, get tested, and if it's negative, stay home anyway. Not only could the could the, the test be a false negative, or if you have something else, you might pass it on, and then that person has to go and get tested. The novel coronavirus is so new that scientists still don't know if it has molecular advantages that make it fare better in the winter. But we do know this. The advice that we received at the start of the pandemic, washing hands, social distancing, and staying at home, are still relevant, especially as we approach the winter.